fairies in parks usually have traditional equipment, such as monkey bars. But that's not the case in Alder Grove Regional Park. In the park's new nature discovery area, there are stumps and rocks instead of swings and slides. In many respects, people may see this as a kind of off-leash area for kids. So an area where we allow kids to manipulate nature in a, in a, in a way that they can't do in other parts of the park. The nature discovery area was unveiled at the park's annual Enchanted Forest event. Here, both children and adults can do more than just look at nature. Benefits to kids playing in nature vary from emotional to physical improvements uh, to intellectual as well as to spiritual. When you're out there, you're being creative, you're being imaginative. So if you're, say, building a fort out in nature or you're trying to come up with an imaginative game to play, you're actually engaging kind of different social skills with all the kids to come up with rules and to build things. I think parents actually want their kids, we call them free range kids, to have a chance to explore and develop their motor skills. This part of the park has a varied history. In the 1960s and 70s, there was a campground and an artificial lake. And in 1969, a three-day outdoor rock festival, one of the first in Canada, was held here. An estimated 30,000 people showed up for the event. Some of them paid the $2 per day admission fee, while others simply snuck into the site through the forest. Today, young visitors to this area now enjoy play and risk-taking of a different kind. So a lot of the areas in the nature discovery area have been inspired by the park's natural history. So for instance, we've got a coyote howling station where we encourage kids to howl, yap or yip like a coyote. We've also got a balance beam which is encouraging kids to tiptoe or, or walk like a raccoon. We've been here for almost two hours now and I think it's been such a great experience for them. They've been uh, very engaged the whole time and all of these open-ended nature-based um, activities for them to do, I think it's really great. Increasing urbanization means that fewer children in the region have regular access to green spaces, but regional parks and discovery areas like this one can help kids fall in love with nature. The emotional connection is one of the most important things of loving a space, connecting to it, and then protecting it down the road. 